Hello everyone, this is Mike Padawan. We're back to a latest update. This is the uh, early morning uh, Saturday update for today, first day of November, All Saints Day 2025, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and uh, Naga College Foundation. We would like also to thank our partners, Avoid This Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here. If you're watching via Facebook, there's a description towards PPI website down below this video and also the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Lena Cobredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So let's begin now with the very latest on LPA Invest 98W. This is the uh, uh, latest uh, situation right now on this uh, low pressure system which is now acting up and becoming better organized as time goes by and it's likely to become a tropical depression today and it's uh, in the vicinity of yap and i'm going to show to you the latest graph set that we created this was uh, last night and uh, we upgraded it to high probability of becoming a tropical uh, cyclone within the next 24 hour high chance more than 65 percent and it's likely to develop into a depression as it passes between Yap and Palau. Meanwhile, we have a monsoon draft here, bringing some it's still good weather, but in the afternoon or evening, expect some isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms uh, through, through the evening. There are some isolated ones also affecting these areas of Palawan, Mimarova, Visayas, and uh, Mindanao, Sulu Archipelago. We have a newly developed uh, shallow or weak LPA moving towards uh, the coastal waters of uh, Vietnam. This is not expected to intensify. And the usual uh, quasi-stationary northeasterly monsoonal flow or AMIAN affecting the uh, extreme northern parts of the zone. We have another one. We have another LPA that formed to the east of 98W. This is 99W, okay, east of 98W, and uh, this is uh, the next one that might develop based on some of the uh, global models. And this is 99W, less than 35% low chance of the becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. So we are more focused on this 98W, which is likely to become Tino once it upgraded, uh, has been upgraded by Baga once it has been upgraded by Pagasa, and uh, once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility. And uh, most likely, there's still no changes on the forecast passage. It's likely between November 4 and 5 across the Visayas and northeastern Mindanao. It's moving farther a little bit to the south based on the new forecast uh, cone of uncertainty. So uh, somewhere between Samar and uh, uh, northern Karaga is the possible landfall of this system come November 4 and 5. Here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. It's now uh, becoming better organized as you uh, look at the satellite loop. It has already developed northern and southern spiral banding. And here's, uh, yep, that small island here. And this is Palau. Most likely the center of the system is somewhere here. And uh, it has been interacting with a passing uh, uh, long wave trough here which is moving towards the northeast and after that passage the high pressure steering ridge will uh, build here or expand towards the east and then this will uh, push the system towards the west and uh, uh, we are all praying that the system might uh, must not reach typhoon status since these areas has been bombarded by uh, twin quakes so, uh, one here over Surigao and another one here uh, near uh, along northern Cebu okay Bogo City so we know that uh, people are suffering uh, right now so uh, my prayers to you, to you guys there and please take all necessary precautions and listen to the latest update from Bagasa once Bagasa issues uh, warnings on this uh, potential storm and here's the uh, 
uh, latest uh, windy.com zoom in satellite animation from UMETSAT and you can clearly see here a more organized system with the possibility of becoming a tropical depression within the next couple of hours so here's Colonia Yap this is Nyerul Mood uh, Palau so there we go it's quasi stationary still but uh, again once the high pressure steering ridge establishes to the north of this system this storm might move towards the west okay but again uh, those living from Bicol region down to Davao must monitor the progress of the system for any uh, eventual movement to the north or south of its track we'll be issuing also supplemental tracking or uh, typhoon tracking of the system once it develops again uh, get your data from the official Pagasa update you can also look at the Japan Meteorological Agency and uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center but since we are in the Philippines we must uh, look at the tracking of uh, Pagasa okay and uh, here's the uh, latest uh, global models this is from the uh, 8 p.m. Uh, uh, run from the American model so there's still no changes in the forecast the storm will enter the Philippine Air Responsibility early tomorrow morning, Sunday, November 2. It will be to the east of uh, Borongan. So this is already a tropical depression based on what we are seeing on the model run. And it will accelerate come November 3. Noontime, it will be uh, approaching the coastal waters of Samar. The American model is much faster than the other models, so it looks like it will be earlier than November 4 based on this new forecast it will make landfall during the evening of November 3 over Borongan, near Borongan and uh, move uh, out via Katbalogan towards uh, Mas... Uh, no, no, it will move west-southwest towards uh, the northern coastal areas of uh, Negros and the uh, northeastern coastal areas of Panay so it's going to move on a west-southwest direction interacting with the high pressure to the north okay and then November 5 it will swiftly be out over the West Philippine Sea away from our country okay and uh, we have another one here this is probably 99W developing but moving northward in a possible recurvature but it's likely to move towards the uh, southern islands of Japan but the forecast of more than five days like I said this is November 10 is highly uncertain so we will not focus on that uh, clock on the other one now let me uh, take a look now on the European model which is still this is the 2 p.m. We don't have yet the 8 p.m. run, likely in an hour from now. But we are going to show you now what will be the forecast of this system. November 2, it will enter power as a tropical depression. Monday, it will accelerate at 30 kph, become a tropical storm as it approaches the coastal waters of northeastern Mindanao and eastern Samar. And on November 4, that system is likely to... Uh, make landfall somewhere uh, over the southern tip of Samar or southern Leyte, eastern Leyte area and over the uh, coastal waters of Dinagat and Siargao that will be on November 4 in the afternoon and uh, it's only a tropical storm even the uh, American model is a tropical storm but later on we are going to give you the uh, better performing model which is artificial intelligence from Google it's called the Google DeepMind Neuro FNB3 that's the uh, model focused on tropical cyclones and it's performing well especially on the past hurricane in the Atlantic Melissa and right now we are going to use that too but in the past it's uh, also Mm, having some good performance in the Western Pacific as mentioned by Western uh, Pacific weather uh, together with uh, uh, 
uh, Sir Rob Speta. Okay, so again, uh, you can see here that November 4 it will make landfall over Southern Leyte. Then early morning of November 5, Wednesday, it will pass over Northern Cebu, Northern Negros, out into Iloilo and Gibaras on uh, November 5 as well. Okay, during the morning. Then around uh, afternoon of November 5, it will be over Kuyu. Thursday, November 6, out into the West Philippine Sea. And then uh, here's another one. But again, it's curving away from our country. So we're not focused on 99W since we are more focused on 98W, which is less than five days from now. Okay, so that will be the scenario. It looks like uh, it's a little bit uh, south of the track of the American model. Okay, so if we uh, take a look on the uh, possible track of these uh, models, the American model is here like this okay and the European model is moving the system into this direction like that so it all points towards the Visayas okay uh, so that will be four days from now let's take a look at the Google uh, let's take a look at the Google DeepMind forecast uh, model and symbol and this is the latest one as of uh, 2 p.m. and it looks like it's also slightly south of the previous track because the previous track of the uh, Google DeepMind is somewhere here over Leyte and somewhere right now it's along the southern part of Leyte and uh, Kimaras Shargao Island that's possible landfall it will slice across uh, northern tip of Bohol into Cebu Negros and Panay over Iloilo and Gibaras on the 5th. So this is the forecast now of the Google DeepMind. And based on the wind intensity, it's likely the intensity is much aggressive compared to the American and European model. The Google Mind, uh, DeepMind the AI model is forecasting it to be around uh, somewhere between category 1 to category 3. There's only one that shows category 4 or 5, but it will not be ruled out as of this time because the oceanic heat content east of our country is very warm. The uh, sea surface temperature is topping 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. So we expect this to, uh, I hope it, it will not intensify. Okay, but the forecast shows somewhere between a tropical storm up to a category 3 typhoon okay so that's the forecast of the Google DeepMind and that will be during the early morning or morning of November 4 and then in the afternoon of November 4 it will pass quickly across Cebu, Negros and Panay out into Kuyu Island and into Kron, Kalamian Group during the morning of November 5 Wednesday okay and then if we move this forward you can see here the cluster of uh, uh, the model on the another system that's uh, tropical uh, uh, low 99 W and it's still scattered and it's uh, currently moving towards uh, mm, extreme north Luzon so it's still highly uncertain so the more uh, uns uh the more certain here right now because since it's already less than five days three to four days from now is this uh lpa 98w which is set to become tino once pagasa upgrades it and enters and enters the philippine area responsibility we have another uh animation from google DeepMind, based on the 2 p.m update from weather nerds and we are going to repeat this. Okay, we'll just wait. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. So, there you go. The storm is moving into that direction. So, the intensity here 
as you can see here on the chart here is between 110 kph up to 185 kph so up to category 3 and it looks like it's moving more to the south across Leyte no southern Leyte and uh, northeastern Mindanao and the whole of Visayas up to Mimaropa and this is the uh, the uh, track of uh, the storm okay and take a look at this other track this is uh, the next one 99w and it looks like it's uh, pointing towards uh, Luzon as well so uh, just remember this is highly uncertain the second one because it's more than five days okay so everybody over the Visayas, please take all necessary precautions for the approach of this quick moving system which is set to pass over your area morning of uh, November 4 and uh, throughout the day that will be on Tuesday so please take all necessary precautions and watch out for the updates from Bagasa and other reliable uh, weather agencies monitoring uh, 98W as for the rain forecast uh, we're going to show you what will happen on November 3 okay it will be all on November 4 and it looks like uh, the area of Bohol might be having uh, rainfall of up to uh, 100 to 200 millimeters and likely to reach uh, uh, 300 or 400 millimeters depending on the area or the mountainous area of this rainfall other areas of uh, uh, Visayas will have 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall and also here over uh, Surigao del Norte which might be having some rainfall also of more than 100 millimeters over the Bicol region we might be uh, still good over Camarines Sur but over the coastal areas it might be uh, uh, having some rainfall of 30 to more than 50 millimeters okay so uh, somewhat the Bicol region is uh, spurred on the worst effects of this uh, potential storm so Fox over Visayas, Panay, Negros, Guimaras, Cebu, Bohol, Leyte, Samar, Northern Caraga, please take all necessary precautions and also the coastal waters of Northern Mindanao that includes uh, uh, Cagayan de Oro City in nearby areas please take all their side precautions so that will be on november 4 and november 5 the heaviest rainfall will now shift towards northern palawan with possible rain rain of more than 100 millimeters there are some areas here over kuyu kuyu island and uh, other areas of slu archipelago which might be having rainfall up more than 300 millimeters so that's the forecast of the rain again uh, we will see you again uh, by uh, we'll fly tonight or Sunday November 2 for the very latest update on LPA 98W which is set to become Tino once it enters par and it becomes a tropical depression this is Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua we'll see you again Thank you so much for watching, good morning and God bless to all.